Hey guys, and welcome back to your next five questions on the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB. Now remember, this is part of the AFQT, so keep practicing so that you can get the score you need to get into the branch of the military you're hoping for. So without further ado, let's dive right into these five questions. Number 16 is just a one-step problem for algebra. So all we have to do here is the opposite of adding to get x by itself. Well, the opposite of adding is subtracting, so we're going to subtract 25 from both sides. That's going to cancel out 25 over here, but 13 minus 25 is going to tell us that x is equal to negative 12, which is answer C. Number 17 is just asking you how many faces a cube has. Well, don't feel overwhelmed by this. A face is just a outward facing side. And on a cube, it's essentially a die that you would roll. And we know that those have six sides. You could also try to count them if you moved it around. So I have one, two, three here, but I don't see the three on the other side. Altogether, it would give us six. In number 18, they tell us that the area of a rectangle is 117 square feet. It gives us the width of 9, but we have to find the length. Well, don't forget a rectangle is just length times width. So if we know that the width is 9, and when we multiply these together, it's going to give us 117, we just have to do the opposite of multiplying here to find out what L is equal to. So I'm going to divide both sides by 9, because that's the opposite. And 117 divided by 9 is equal to... 13. So in this case, our length is going to be 13 feet. Number 19 is just a definition question for these geometric figures. It wants to know a square is a special case of all the following geometric figures except A, which one? Well, let's just go through a parallelogram means that both sets of opposite sides must be parallel, which they are in a square. A rectangle means that all corners are at 90 degree angles and it's four-sided. We meet both of those. Rhombus means that opposite sides are parallel again, but in this case, all four sides have to be equal. That is true on a square. A trapezoid means that only one one pair of opposite sides are parallel, the other two are not. So that actually is false here because both opposite sides are parallel, so D is going to be our answer. So in this case, Pythagorean theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where this would be a, b, and c. So if we squared all of those, well, 1 squared is just 1. Square root of 10 squared would give us 10, and we don't know what this guy is. Well, we do know that whatever this squared is needs to add to this to give us 10. Well, the only number plus 1 that will give us 10 would be 9. So what's the square root of 9 to go backwards to get this x? Well, the square root of 9 is just 3. Answer B. Those were your five videos for today. You made it all the way to the end. In the comment section, go ahead and let me know which branch of the military you're hoping to get into. That way I know a little bit more about the people watching this video and know how I can best help you to succeed. Remember, if you want to see more ASVAB videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and I'll be releasing a new one next week for the next five and continuing on after that. Again, thanks for joining, and I hope you found it helpful.